Hello guys, here is Mark the Geek. In this video, I bring you a look at Sign Keyboard. That's S-I-I-N-E. I don't know if it's Sign or Sin, but it I'm going to pronounce it as Sign Keyboard. It came out a couple weeks ago. I've been trying it out. The keyboard that I mostly use is the ICS keyboard. I love it a lot. And, you know, it takes time to get used to a new keyboard, but, you know, I'm trying this one out. It looks very cool. I've been liking it so, f so far. Um, uh, this is how the keyboard looks. That's pretty cool. Um, when you put a landscape, it looks huge. Look at those buttons. That looks pretty cool. And this is a 5.4.5 inch screen on the Galaxy S2 Epic Touch. Um, the big thing here is um, you see this key with a blue hand and this other blue key. So let's go first to the blue key. With this blue key, you could create shortcuts. Um, like for example, if you want to answer fast with a hand, you say bye. See? Um, soon. And, and as so on, so on. You could, key, you could even go ahead. There's like a gallery. And you will be able to download more keys for shortcuts. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Um, these are the ones that are most used. Uh, right now, let's say I want to download this one. I'll go ahead and download it. It downloads pretty fast. Of course, it depends on your connection. But um, I gotta say, uh, there's a lots, lots, lots of shortcuts that you can get used to here. Okay, eh, cool. Let's go back. So if we go back to the key, we should see those keys around here. You could keep on clicking here, the hand, and it will keep on going through all those keys, like. With though the pack that I just downloaded added me this one, dear, good morning. Um, you can even put your email. I'm not gonna click it because I'll, then I'll show my email. Uh, your Facebook. If you wanna edit this social, you can edit here, and you could add your information there. Your Facebook ID, your Twitter ID, or your Skype ID. That's pretty cool. Um, Let's say I want to put this, click on this, smooch, that's pretty cool. Okay, and if you want to go back, you just click the blue key right there, the space button. I'll go back to the keyboard, and here, when you click on this other keyboard, you get emojis. Look at these emojis, they look huge. They look pretty nice. And you can also create your own emojis. Look, I create this one, I created that one. I'll call me. Like for example, if I want to create a, uh, a new emoji, I just hit that. You could choose a picture from your gallery. You could use uh, ICS icons. Like for example, let me use this icon, book. And I could put book. And I can write here, whatever short, whatever let me see, reading a book, save. Okay, now if I go to emojis, I should see, nope, let's go back here. I should see the book. And if I click on the book, see, <laughs> this is reading book. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's pretty nice. Here you can see another other shortcuts too that's pretty cool too um, here you can see more shortcuts um, this keyboard is all about shortcuts I'm telling you and uh, the cool stuff here too is the the calendar you can actually have a calendar in your keyboard and enter it enter whatever calendar reference you need to put on uh, as a text like let's say I want to put around March 15th and I go back to keyboard look at it put it around March 15th 
another cool thing about this keyboard is this right here like you can see right there there's a clock when you click on it a new uh, uh, like a clock appears on the screen while you're text messaging let's say you want to choose around you got shortcuts here like like the most used words you would use in reference of a clock of the time let's say around 1 45 p.m. look at that around 1 45 p.m. that's pretty awesome that's pretty nice so and over here the keyboard also remembers your most uh, most use, used words so it remembers pretty cool and you click here you had the keyboard pretty nice um, you click here you actually have fast access to all these most used symbols and you know go back you click there you get the numbers and some symbols too but you know it like like I don't know if you guys but I I get used to a keyboard and once I it's hard to me to switch to another keyboard when I'm used to typing a keyboard but this keyboard actually has so many functions in it that it actually makes it a little bit fun even to type I if you ask me I really like the calendar this is pretty neat let's say I want to put before 2 20 a.m. boom Look at that before 228 that's awesome and especially the calendar too the calendar let's say I put um, by I could switch another month May 17 boom by May 17th that's pretty awesome so guys this is a look at um, sign keyboard I like it um, you gotta get you gotta use it you know it's not gonna be easy to get used to it if you are already using one of your favorite keyboards but I should say try it because you might like it and like I'm say I'm liking it so till next time